The Crown of the Red Prince is a secret conditional reward from the Red Prince boss in Remnant 2. The Assassin's Dagger will need to be obtained and used to defeat the Red Prince, all of which will be covered in this guide. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. Let's start with the Assassin's Dagger. To get it, we'll first need to find the Council Chamber, a sublocation of the Losome Biome. For me, the entrance to the Council Chamber was located in Ironboro, which is the second overworld area for the version of Losom that starts in the Palace Courtyard. After entering, I found the Council Chamber and spoke with them to get some background info on the story here, but I'm not sure it's necessary. We will have to fight our way through some enemies to reach the large magic mirror at the end of this dungeon. Using it will result in being transported to the mirrored version of the Council Chamber, called the Council Tribunal. There, we'll need to complete a puzzle. Find and grab the three council member keys from the bottom of their chairs. Next, properly replace the keys so that each matches the color of its reflection in the pool of water. From left to right, it should be green, red, and purple. Completing this puzzle will open the door to the One True King's Chamber. We'll head there, then climb up the stones near the back to get the Assassin's Seal. Jumping over to the True King, we can pick up the Assassin's Dagger quest item. Normally, this dagger is used to complete the Council Chamber's quest. However, for our purposes, we will need to keep the dagger and bring it to Naimue instead. She will take the quest version of this item and give a melee weapon version of it in return. All we have to do now is get to the Gilded Chambers, which is where we'll find the Red Prince. The Gilded Chambers can sometimes be found as one of the final main sublocations in the version of Losam that starts in Maro Parish. I've also found it as a side location in the version of Losam that starts in the Palace Courtyard. Once there, you'll need to make your way through to the final room and pick the I am not your subject, I will not pay tribute option upon encountering the Red Prince then defeat him with the Assassin's Dagger. And this next part is important, so you'll want to listen to the full explanation before proceeding. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure of the exact conditions that need to be met to get the Crown of the Red Prince, only what I did to get it. I teamed up with a friend, and we defeated the Red Prince using only the Assassin's Dagger, and we did not use any guns at all. However, it could be that just striking the final blow on the Red Prince with the Assassin's Dagger is enough to get the crown. If you want to risk using guns to damage the Red Prince down before striking a final blow with the Assassin's Dagger, you can, but I cannot guarantee that it will work. While defeating the Red Prince with just the Assassin's Dagger is easier said than done, it can be accomplished with good enough armor and a handful of attempts. Upon doing so, you will be awarded his crown. It boasts 25 resistance against fire and gives off a faint red glow. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments where I'll do my best to help. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Thursday, and as always, thanks for watching.